Welcome to the lesson on basic airway adjuncts. In this video, we'll discuss when to use the three basic airway adjuncts, oropharyngeal airway, nasopharyngeal airway, and suctioning. The oropharyngeal airway, or OPA, is a J-shaped device that fits over the tongue to hold the soft hypopharyngeal structures in the tongue away from the posterior wall of the pharynx. OPA is used in individuals who are at risk for developing airway obstruction from the tongue or from relaxed upper airway muscle. A properly sized and inserted OPA results in proper alignment with the glottis opening. If efforts to open the airway fail to provide and maintain a clear, unobstructed airway, then use the OPA in unconscious individuals. You should not use an OPA in conscious or semi-conscious individuals because it can stimulate gagging and vomiting and possibly aspiration. The key assessment is to check whether the individual has an intact cough and gag reflex. If so, then do not use an OPA. The nasopharyngeal airway, or NPA, is a soft rubber or plastic uncuffed tube that provides a conduit for airflow between the nares and the pharynx. The NPA is used as an alternative to an OPA in individuals who need a basic airway adjunct. Unlike the oral airway, NPAs may be used in conscious or semi-conscious individuals with intact cough and gag reflex. Use NPA when insertion of an OPA is technically difficult or dangerous. NPA placement can be facilitated by the use of a lubricant. Never force placement of the NPA as severe nosebleeds may occur. If it does not fit in one nair, try the other side. Use caution or avoid placing NPAs in individuals with obvious facial fractures. Suctioning is an essential component of maintaining a patent airway. Providers should suction the airway immediately if there are copious secretions, blood, or vomit. Attempts at suctioning should not exceed 10 seconds. To avoid hypoxemia, follow suctioning attempts with a short period of 100% oxygen administration. Monitor the individual's heart rate, pulse oxygen saturation, and clinical appearance during suctioning. If you see a change in monitoring parameters, then interrupt suctioning and administer oxygen until the heart rate returns to normal and until clinical condition improves. Assist ventilation as warranted. This concludes our lesson on basic airway adjuncts. Next, we will review basic airway techniques.